Hello all of you who are watching our webinar. This time we would like to draw your attention to drones, the future we are rapidly heading to. It is easy to admire those little flying machines, but when it comes to choosing one, some questions may definitely arise. So we would like to give the answers to them. But let's start from the very beginning. You may probably know how drones look like, or at least heard these things exist. Good, but what exactly drone is? An unmanned aerial vehicle, what we usually call a drone, or other names such as remote piloted aircraft systems, unmanned air system, is an aircraft without a human pilot aboard. The flight of UAVs may be controlled either autonomously by onboard computers or by the remote control of a pilot on the ground or in another vehicle. So now that we clear this out, let's move on. You may wonder why all of these drones look different. That is because there are three different types of drones. Let's look over them. First one is fixed-wing drones. Fixed-wing UAVs consist of a rigid wing, which generates the major lift of the drone. What are the advantages of this type? Fixed-wing aircraft is more forgiving in the air if facing piloting or technical errors. They have natural gliding capabilities. Fixed-wing aircraft are also able to carry more equipment or weight for longer distances on less power. When it comes to precision missions, fixed-wing aircraft may have some disadvantages. Due to the air moving over the wings to generate lift, they must stay in forward motion. It means they can't hover in one spot and as a result cannot provide the precise camera positioning. To sum up, choose a fixed wing for longer missions and more playload. But if you need to keep camera in one place, Consider the different type of drone. Let's look at the second type, rotary wing drones. Rotary wing UAVs consist of one rotor. You won't be wrong saying it looks like a small version of a helicopter. The biggest advantage of rotary UAVs is the ability for takeoff and land vertically. This allows the user to operate within a smaller area with no substantial landing or takeoff place required. Their capacity to hang in the air and perform maneuvering makes rotary wing UAVs well suited to such applications like inspections. On the flip side, greater mechanical and electronic complexity translates to more complicated maintenance and repair processes. This means the user's operational time can be decreased. The third and the most common type is multi-rotor drones. These UAVs consist of several rotor blades that revolve around a fixed mast. These drones come in wide range of setups. Three rotors and such device is called tricopter. Four rotors, quadcopter. Six rotors, hexacopter. 8 rotors, octocopter. There are also more unusual setups like 12 or 16 rotors. Multi-rotors have similar advantages as a rotary wings, but they are even more stable and easier to control. This advantage is that due to their low speed and short of line ranges, the operator may require many additional flights to survey and significant areas. This will increase in time and operational costs. Now you know the differences between all these types of drones. So let's talk about the practical use of UAVs in nowadays. Used only in military and spatial operation applications in the past, nowadays drones are increasingly finding uses in civil applications. Drones are now widely used for common delivery services, security and law enforcement, search and rescue operations, film and television industries, agriculture or power lines and pipeline inspections, and more unusual activities like counting wildlife, 
delivering medical supplies to remote or otherwise inaccessible regions, detecting of illegal hunting, and many, many others. We hope this video was useful and broadened your knowledge about the drones. If you feel like starting your career in drones industry, the UAV pilot training should become your first step in your professional operator career. So in the next webinar, we would like to present the UAV pilot training program in details. Stay tuned. If you have any questions, please feel free to email them to info at baatraining.com or post them in the comment box below. Thanks for watching.